and then went from there till the $3,600 for the trip to South Africa. Now, if anyone's familiar with what's going on in South Africa, this is the year of 2000. This is just after the apartheid. And the apartheid was a big battle between the different factions of whites and uh, African Amer you know, Africans. And then there was a couple of other agencies, terrorist-like agencies. And the whole issue, you know, Nelson Mandela was in prison. He became the president. This is shortly after there. So while I was in Africa, there were people that were refugees from other countries that were homeless. There were still barbed wire. There were still people walking around with AK-47s. And I went on this mission trip for three, three, three weeks. It was a total four weeks with the training. Got to meet Ron Luce. He was there for, for a few days with us on the trip. Shared with him my story. And then I went to Team Mania Honor Academy. The Honor Academy is a year of your life that you spend in an internship. I stayed there for a few months. Ran out of funds. Went back home. My mom promised my stepdad wouldn't come back. He came back. Ended up in the hospital. And at that point, I went south to Houston, Texas to the Salvation Army. At the Salvation Army, I got plugged in to work with the youth group at another church called Aldine Westfield. And they're, they're, they're set up kind of like a military hierarchy, so they would call them cores. And we would go out and, and help different people in the shelter. So I would sing and do these different things. Did that for a while, got out, got a job, messed up my job. In 2004, I ended up joining the Coast Guard, went in the Coast Guard for three and a half years. And I found my wife on the Internet. Uh, I'm, I was a big Internet guy. Because we were always on the internet, and I found her on MySpace, and that was in 2006. And we started talking. I came out here in February, met her. Then she came out and saw my friends, hang out with my friends in June. And then I got out of the Coast Guard June 19th, 2007. Got a job as a contractor for a year. Did that as a year. And then I got laid off. Well, from September 2008 until March 29th, 2000. Nine, I was doing the whole looking for a job, trying to find things, and there was just nothing here. I couldn't get anything. I was considered either overqualified or underqualified. And then I eventually said, okay, I can't do this anymore. Uh, it opened up where in December of 2008, I could go to college. So I started filling out my GI Bill stuff. No, excuse me, it's 2009. I got my dates backwards. 2009, they said I could uh, start going to college. So I started filling out my paperwork. There's a backlog. For the GI Bill, so it took from December till March, got into college, and I've been going to college full time and doing ministry. Well, ministry, what we do here at JMC Ministries, it's me and my wife, and we, we do a lot of different things. Uh, we sing, we preach, we, we talk about the Word of God through our various things. We have a puppet ministry known as the Diversity Puppets. We do dramas. Um, we even do a show on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a website called livestream.com slash jmc underscore ministries. And we talk about the news of the day. We interview people. And God's just moved and transformed and placed us in so many different opportunities. God has just blessed us abundantly. We just had our one-year anniversary of the show. Over 47,000 people have come to the show. Over 157,000 people have been involved with JMC Ministries online alone since 2007 when we got married. My wife's background is she's, she's got a, a father and grandparents that are involved in ministry. She's a musician. She can sing. She can play the drums. I play the guitar. I can sing. And, and she also plays the piano. I can play a little bit too. And we just put all this stuff together. We say, God, what do you want to do? And he's like, well, I want to use your gifts. And I want you to give glory to God. And, you know, like 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, like, don't you know that you're God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? And we look at this and say, well, if we're God's temple, we need to let, let the world know that God loves them by the actions of the things we do. So we want, we want to take everything that we have, our all, and give it to glory to God. So if we have all these you know, gifts of music and teaching and all these things, I want to use that for God. So that's what James C. Ministry is doing. And the unique thing that we also do, all of our ministry is free. We don't raise funds for it. The music is free for download. If people want to download that at ReverbNation.com slash JMC Ministries, you can do that. You can join our prayer team. You can come to the show. We have a news editorial we do, which is called Eternal Flame News. It's on a blogger site, so it's eternalflamenews.blogspot.com. 
and it, we just continually move forward. And we don't do this alone. We partner with people like you, Terry, and other ministries here in Ohio and across the country. If you go to our website, which is jmcministries.webs.com, you'll see all the different things that God has done. Some of the music events Miranda's done with the Salvation Army. I share my testimony on going to South Africa at a church. And then the various interviews of bands that we've done. We've interviewed someone from Kingdom Builders International. They are missionaries to Jamaica and Haiti. Uh, we've interviewed bands. And I just do it because I love God. And I realize, like James 1.27 says, that religion that our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, is to look after orphans, widows, and their great distress. I believe this is fulfilling the Great Commission. The Great Commission is something we're supposed to continually do. And I believe that God is placing emphasis upon this. And... People such as myself who have been homeless, who have been beaten, uh, I've been raped by a African American minister. Different things have happened to me throughout my life. I don't want this to be hidden. I want to bring it out to the light. Because so, there's others out there that don't know the hope of God. They don't know that Jesus cares. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. And there's someone out there who's hurting like I have hurt. Or maybe even worse. And I want to encourage those people out there today and say, look at where I am. I'm 30 years old. I've gone through all these. I've gone through all this hell. Yet God has carried me through. No matter how far away I turned from Him, He wouldn't let me go. No matter how much problems I went through, God was still there. God was still there when I got hit by my stepdad. God was still there when I got raped. And I don't blame God. I don't blame myself. We can't control what other people do. We must forgive these people. And I took the last 10 years of my life, forgiving these people, however hard it was. And it took a long time for some of them. But eventually I got to that point where I said, you know what, I can love that person, and I forgive that person. I may not talk to them, but I give it to you, God. And that's what I want to encourage people today, to just give, cast your cares upon the Lord, and He will sustain you, and He will help you endure. There's something I want to say, that adverse, adversity is overcome when you let your life forge you into the strongest of steel. When you let these different things come in your life, don't take you out, but forge you in the fire and move you to a place that God wants you to be. Well, Jeremy, I want to say, brother, that you are a shining example of Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. And uh, that's one thing that I've been trying to live by here recently. That, that verse just sticks in my head, and uh, and I just can't get it out. So I try to, I try, and you're just a shining example of that. Jeremy, I want to say thank you, brother, for coming on uh, Terry's Bluegrass Corner and sharing your testimony real quickly. How can they get up with you again if they're interested in what you do? If they're interested, they can go to our website, which is jmcministries.webs.com. Or you can find me on Facebook under Jeremy Caverly. Or you can even find JMC Ministries on Facebook, even Twitter. Or you can even call us at 740-601-9014. Okay, Jeremy, thank you for coming on tonight. And uh, we'll try to have you back on in the near future and let you give us an update on, on what's going on with you. All right? All right, thank you very much, sir. Okay, and God bless you. God bless you, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.